Hey y'all, today we have a Pen Warfare 20 level wine uh, left handed that the customer purchased and this was stuck in there so I just pulled it out but it was like seriously jammed in there so uh, it looks like the inside of this line guide is severely damaged and also the paw, I'm sorry, the, the worm gear there we go, is damaged inside there as well. So anyhow, so I told the customer, um, oh, here's the last part, excuse me. So you crank this and it feels like it's sticking. So couldn't really tell if it was the, uh, the braid being overfilled on the spool or possibly the gear over here, the transfer gear um, for the pole side. I'm sorry, for the uh, worm gear side. Pulls a significant amount of line off just to feel it and it still felt the hesitation there so clearly this is going to be damaged over here when we open it up and the customer doesn't want to pay uh, what's going to cost to fix all these parts so i just suggested we take all the uh, components for the level wine out uh, i'm going to try to leave the uh, the shield on and this post on just for some some support so let's just get to it and we'll verify first that there's damage on this side. He bought the second hand, so he doesn't know what happened previously to it. Uh, so while I open this side up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And be sure to tell your friends about the channel as well. You want to double check the uh, <coughs> the idler gear and see if what our suspicions or if our suspicions are correct. Let's just put it out. This is just a repair it's not a uh, uh, cleaning or servicing but I'm sure you'll see kind of how it breaks some of these parts down to access uh, certain points in the reel So let's see what this thing looks like. All right, so I did feel two hesitations. So I have one area of damage here and one area of damage right there as well, which just kind of coincides with the, the feel I was getting from cranking the, the reel. All right, so we're gonna remove that stuff. Let's put this back on. All right, so let's take off the left side or the handle side.
see any screws? I don't think so. I do know that the screws on this side are shorter than the screws that go in here. Let's just pull. I don't think we're missing any screws. Maybe we gotta take this off. I don't think so. Let's find out. Now I don't look at the schematic for this, so I'm just gonna kind of go through this. No, we don't need to take that off. And if we get stuck, then we'll just check the schematic on it. We should just check it. See if we can get the spool out. It's got a lot of line on it. Make sure there's no screws inside here. And I don't see any. Just check the schematic on this and make sure that I'm not missing something here. All right, there we go. Yeah, I missed that screw in the schematic also. So, my apologies. Okay, so we got it open, and <coughs> I'm gonna pull this gear out so I can access the uh, this is a double dog fish. So we get that out without doing the um, without doing the dogs at all. I don't think so. Okay, let's pull them off. stuck. Let's pull harder. Alright. Let's see if we can access that without touching these at all. I think we can. We're gonna try. All right, so I'm gonna pop off this uh, e-clip right here. Hope you guys can see that. off. Now we just push it down like that. And we're going to take this washer out right there. Where'd it go? Right there. So off with all this stuff. You might actually have to remove that screw. Oh, we don't, which is good. 
because I don't want to. All right, take that out. Take that out. We're going to have a hole right here. I'm going to leave that support bracket right there in. And we can set all these things to the side. Yeah, we have some damage in this corner right here. And looks like some over here as well. That sucks. Let me get a look, closer look inside here. Yeah, and there's all mangled up, all burred up. Pretty nasty inside there too. I can't leave this in there because it'll just keep sliding back and forth. So that'll be that hole there. All right, so let's put it back together. Make sure we're not missing anything. I think we're good. Now we're hitting that point where it's sticking a little bit. Dogs are working, so that's good. <coughs> All right, so let's go ahead and cover it up. And we'll be done. Uh, when you put this back on, you got to make sure that little nub right there is fitting inside that hole. Otherwise, it won't. And this sleeve right here, the two prongs go down to fit into that those channels right there. Uh, otherwise, this won't set properly. So we got to find that, like right there. And the first thing I'm going to put on is this screw that we couldn't find the first time. And I'll put these two back ones on. Remember, these back ones are longer than the, than the uh, front side. Now we can put this thing back on. And screw that in. All right, let's put the handle back on. This goes first, that little indentation faces up. Next are the washers, the drag washers or tension washers. Then the clicker. Then the star drag. I think this is left-handed, so I'm gonna be turning it this way to get it down. Let's go ahead and stick this back inside. 
Make sure our line's not cut. It doesn't look cut. That's good. All right. And now we're going to put this back side on. Feels kind of right. Where are we? Right there. That's good. I'm just trying to grip the, uh, the, uh, that post there so that I can screw this down. Now we can use the handle for the rest of it. washer on, stick the handle on, and test this reel out in a sec. The washer's still on there? Yeah. Okay. Should be tight enough. I'm not even sure why I'm trying to put this on right now. But it's too late, you're gonna have to wait for me now. All 
All right, so let's test it out. Feels good. Hope the free spool works. And it does. Clicker. And now you have essentially a functioning reel. I don't want to say fully functioning because we took the level wind mechanism out, but at least you can take it fishing again, which is always good. All right, guys, I know that this was a little bit of a hodgepodge of stuff going on there, and I apologize for that. Um, I haven't worked on one of these before. I should have pulled up the schematic, but I didn't do that. Uh, a bit of cockiness, a bit of confidence, I don't know. In any event, uh, we didn't break anything, which is always good. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.